So we've been receiving a lot of questions about tomatoes with curled leaves. And unfortunately, there are quite a few reasons why tomatoes will have, curled, have leaves that curl. We can have environmental reasons such as moisture, heat, nutrients. We can have uh, pathological reasons like viruses, and there's even some insects that do it. So some of the environmental conditions that can lead to tomatoes with curled leaves. Well, excess heat. We've had a lot of excess heat this year. And that's as those leaves curl, they're, they're using less moisture and those curled leaves are actually absorbing less heat from the sun, cooling down the plant. And that's so physiologically, that's why those plants are trying to curl those leaves. Now, in addition we can, to the heat, we can also have some moisture reasons why we have tomatoes with curled leaves. Excess moisture, but also not enough moisture can, can really lead to those curled leaves. So as you're doing your watering, we really want to make sure that we are checking that soil profile um, with, with either a finger or a screwdriver to make sure that we do have adequate moisture out there and we're not just putting water on there for the sake of putting water on those plants. Having, um, having a consistent watering is really the best way to avoid that physiological leaf roll. You can also see leaf curls with, um, with some excess fertilizer. And so nitrogen is the big cause of, of that. But really any of these reasons why we would see environmental factors causing the, the leaf curl, typically those leaves are starting to curl from the bottom of the plant up. And those leaves, um, they may be a little bit leathery, uh, maybe a little bit um, kind of just feel a little bit different than the leaves at the top of the plant do. We also may see those leaves uncurl in the morning, but then as the heat of the day goes on, we get those leaves to curl. Now, the, the biological reasons for leaf curl, such as insects or pathogens, is a different story. If, if, if we have any of our viruses, and tomatoes have a lot of viruses that can cause those leaves to curl, typically those symptoms are going to start at the top of the plant in the newest growth. As our viruses have to utilize the, um, the, the plant's own cell machinery to reproduce, that's where we see the most virus problems is in that newer growth. We typically will not see virus problems in the lower growth. Now, if it's insect issues such as mites or, or aphids causing those leaves, cur those leaves to curl, that might, may kind of be throughout the plant. So you may actually need to look at those leaves underneath, a, um, underneath some magnification to see if you can find those, find those insects. The final reason that we're seeing a lot of leaves curl right now is herbicide injury. There are a lot of herbicides um, floating around right now, not just ag for the agricultural sector, but also from urban landscapes. Most of our home, most of our home and garden herbicides include some growth regulators that can cause those leaves to curl. But with those, if we have leaf curl caused by a herbicide, that is going to occur at a single point in time. And so typically those leaves will grow out of it. And so we may have the leaves curl, but then I always recommend waiting two to three weeks to see is the new growth looking good if new growth is looking good, then those tomatoes should um, come out of that just fine. Now we do have to recommend if you have a plant with, that has um, received herbicide drift that has already fr set fruit, we do not recommend consuming any of that fruit, not knowing what exactly that herbicide is. So as I've said, there are a lot of reasons that can cause these leaves to curl. We just have to do some investigating and even send a sample into your friendly neighborhood plant diagnostic clinic if you need to.